Hi, I'm John Trezvenia. I'm a candidate for the San Francisco School Board. I want to thank the League of Women Voters for giving me the opportunity uh, to speak before you today about my experience and qualifications for the school board. I'm very proud to be a native San Franciscan and a product of our public schools, Commodore Sloat, Aptus, Lowell High School. The training I got from our teachers at a time when there was so, so much activism and optimism and hope in our city. My mom was one of the first bilingual teachers here in San Francisco, James Lick. I walked with her on the first picket line of the teachers back in 1968. But that was a time of optimism and hope. Um, thanks to our teachers, I was able to go to Harvard University and Stanford Law School and enter a career in public service, civil rights, and education. I've had the opportunity to work for two presidents, President Clinton in the Justice Department, leading the only office on immigrant civil rights, and in, in, the, in the Obama administration as the Assistant Secretary for Fair Housing and Equal Opportunity. I've been in the classroom. I've led a law school, University of San Francisco Law School, where I've been dean uh, up until this past June. I run for the Board of Education because I want to bring those experiences to the challenges that we face, our families and our future. We're not doing a good job right now in the public schools. I'll be an independent voice. I'm not an insider. In fact, the insider said, stay away from certain issues, but I'm ready to take them on. Standing for excellence and closing the achievement gap. On standing for excellence, the school district made a mistake by getting rid of eighth grade algebra under the theory that not everybody is able to do well in algebra at the eighth grade. They've denied, they've denied it to all students. What we need to be able to do is to work with, at the elementary school level and middle school level to make sure that more and more students are, are ready to take algebra, not deny it, not to cap the academic growth of, of, of some students. Taking away algebra at eighth grade makes it much more difficult to get into the engineering and other kind of jobs in higher, in higher level math. We've got a sales force tower here. We have to build a path from the public schools into that tower so that our students can create, can be in the jobs of the 21st century. Another error, another error the school has been making is in closing the achievement gap. I'm the only candidate to call for a Latino education initiative. 27% of the students of our district are Latino, and the gap between white students and Asian students with Latino students is dramatic. We have an African-American achievement and, and leadership initiative. It's one that I support. I would move it, though, from a focus on current high school students, bring it, bring it back to pre-K to grade 5. We can't abandon any student in the district, but starting early allows the schools to work with parents to develop the right kind of learning habits and the right kind of parenting skills to support what goes on in the classroom. We have tremendous ability to be able to do that, working with trusted community organizations, working with our libraries. We've, got, we've been voted the best urban library system in the country. It's within the grasp of all parents in all neighborhoods to be able to have read to our to children or read to children a thousand books before they start kindergarten. And the pledge of the League of United Latin American Citizens that all Latino children should be able to have 400 words, English words, in their vocabulary by the time they start kindergarten, that's a good pledge for our kids here in San Francisco. We cannot do these things without constant attention uh, to, to these issues. That is why I'm calling for a Latino education initiative on top of the African American initiative we have today. We also can't do these things without quality teachers. And to, right now we're losing quality teachers to the suburban districts. They pay more and oftentimes they're closer to our teachers because a third of our teachers live out of town. They have to commute up to 90 minutes a day before they stand in front of the classroom to teach our children. That's un unconscionable. They can't, under those circumstances, be the kind of teachers they train to be or want to be. So I would call upon, using my HUD experience, I would call upon the supervisors in the city to identify underutilized pieces of property owned by the city, co combine them with, si with district property to create housing uh, for teachers and for paraeducators. We have a lot to do in this city for our children and for our future. So I would stand for excellence of restoring eighth grade algebra, uh, making sure that Lowell High School uh, continues as an academic high school, and also on the achievement gap, making sure that uh, we put the attention where it's needed at the pre-K to grade five level to ensure that all of our students have the opportunity uh, to be the best that they can be. I'm John Trezvenia. I'd like your vote on November 6th, 
And if you get a voter by mail ballot starting October, October the 8th, I'd like your vote there as well. Thank you very much.